Good morning, and welcome to this morning prayer with the Stormont Deanery in the parish of North Dundas at St. Clair's Anglican Church. We hope that you'll enjoy our prayer time this morning. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Canticle this morning, a song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 41. That's Psalm 41. Blessed are those who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and restores their life, that they may be happy in the land. He will not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed. Their sickness, Lord, you will remove. And so I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil about me, asking when I shall die and my name perish. If they come to see me, they utter empty words. Their heart gathers mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. Against me they devise evil, saying that a deadly thing has laid hold on me and that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even in my bosom, friend, whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up that I may reward them. By this I know that you favor me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity, you uphold me and will set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. God, our deliverer, raise up the poor and comfort the betrayed. Through the one for our sakes became poor and whose betrayal brought our salvation. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God, our Deliverer, raise up the poor and comfort the betrayed through the one who for our sakes became poor and whose betrayal brought our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is from the book of John. The Gospel of John, chapter 7, verses 14 to 24. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished at it, saying, 
How does this man have such learning when he has never been taught? Then Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of, the, of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus answered them, I prefer, performed one work, and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath in order that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I healed a man's whole body on the Sabbath? Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. The Song of Manasseh. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering, and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my inequities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our intercessions for this morning. We pray for the day and its task which lay before us, that we may serve you with a quiet mind and heart. We pray for the world and its needs, that you watch over your great creation. We pray for the church and its leadership, that you will give them wisdom and courage to lead in your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those preparing for baptism and confirmation, that you will give them understanding of your love and compassion. We pray for those serving through leadership, that they will follow your will. We pray for those looking for forgiveness, that they will find your mercy. We pray for those misled by the false gods of this present age, that you will bring them the true knowledge of yourself. We pray for all who are hungry, that they may find nourishment through you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those coping with the coronavirus. Keep us safe, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious, be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we lift now our prayers and petitions that weigh heavy on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The calling for today. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for sharing this time of morning prayer with us, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you through this week of Lent. Have a blessed day. Amen.